Welcome to the first entry in the A Night With series. A Night With Bartender. Dime to a romantic visual novel that combines detailed character development with spend a night with Ivy, a charismatic and skilled bartender, and navigate through an evolving relationship. Set in a vibrant cityscape, each decision influences the course of the encounter, unlocking different paths. Hello and welcome, Link's here, and well, as you've heard, we are going to play A Night with Bartender, which is the first game from A Night with kind of series. There is another one already released, we'll play both of them, one after the other, that's correct. But yes, let's start with a bartender, let us go. What is my name? It's Arthur, of course. Do you want to skip the prologue? Hell no! What a tough day. It feels like everything that go wrong did go wrong. At least it's Friday night! The funny part is, it's actually Friday when I'm recording. <laughs> also, why do you have a bookcase outside? <laughs> Who designed this house? Maybe a drink or two will help me forget this mess of a day. A night alone at lush retreat might just be what I need. But first I need to snap out of this sleepy... Oh, wake up, Arthur! Whew, there you go. Now I'm feeling better. Let's hope the night has something better in store for me. Two. The city feels different at night. More alive. Or maybe it's... It's just me seeking a refugee from my own chaos. Du, du, du. I remember passing by a cozy looking bar on the way home from work. It's probably as good a place as many to throw my sorrows. Ah, lush retreat, was it? The name alone promises an escape from the storm of my thoughts. Du, du. As you step into the lush retreat, the warm, dimly interior wraps around you like a comforting embrace. Oh, this is exactly what I needed today. Huh, it's surprisingly quiet. Almost no one's here, yet the atmosphere feels just right. Welcoming. Huh. There is something that came to my mind right now, and I wonder if it's true, but let's leave it that thought for later. Seems like I found the perfect spot to unwind, and maybe, just maybe, turn this day around. Uh, I mean... There is nobody here. I'm... Hello? Welcome to Lush Retreat, sir. What can I get started for you tonight? Ah, oh, is she the bartender here? She looks so hot. Is everything all right, sir? Ah, uh, uh, it looks like uh, um, it looks like the world has been ha a bit harsh on you today. She's blushing. Tell you what, how about I mix you something special, a drink to wash away the troubles, and maybe kickstart a much better evening. Well, that sounds exactly what, like exactly what I need. You've come to the right place, then. I just the thing. Let me surprise you. She moves away, moving gracefully to the bar, her confidence and charm evident in every motion. She starts preparing your drink, her hands skillfully navigating through the bottles and the ingredients. I like to call this the turnaround. It's for those nights when you're looking for a change in perspective. She places a carefully crafted cocktail in front of you. The drink vibrant and inviting seems to glow in the dim light of the bar. Here you go! On the house! Consider it a welcome gift and promise that your night's about to get a lot more interesting. Oh, thank you, thank you. I I appreciate that a lot. It's what we do here at Lush Retreat. Making nights memorable one drink at a time. Now would you like to share what's been waving on you? 
Or do you want to ask something else? Share the burdens of your day. Ask more about her. Compliment her. You are so hot. How about we get out from here? <laughs> um... Sure, let's go. Ah, work as nightmare. Just felt like the universe was about to get me. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. But I'm glad you ended up here with us tonight. Sometimes the escape is all we need to rest. Uh, or reset. And who knows? Maybe the universe is just setting you up for something else. So this is what brings you to Lush Retreat. Ha. Huh. On a diet like this. Actually, I found this place when I was coming back from work and thought a drink would help me forget that mess at work. Well, regardless of why you're here, I believe every night can hold the potential for something amazing. I guess you're right, yeah. Ending up here talking to you feels like maybe things are starting to look up. Oh, yay, you are right. Hmm. Sorry, but I forgot to ask your name, sir. Ah, uh, my name is Arthur. And you are? <sighs> default ivy i mean you know what just in th just in case i'm gonna type it but yeah let's go ivy i'm ivy please t uh, pleasure to meet you arthur now that we're no longer strangers how can i improve your night arthur what's this her love her trust her last her total affection arthur drunk ivy drunk what Ask about her, compliment her, flirt with her, ask her a drink, suggest play through for there, suggest move to another place. Uh, let's ask more about her. So, Ivy, can you tell me more about yourself? Oh. Can we, like, ask literally everything? I sure hope so. What are your hobbies? What do you enjoy doing in your spare time? I find joy in many things. Creating new cocktail recipes at home is one of them. It's a hobby that complements my work and fuels my creativity. I'm also an avid reader. I have a soft spot for fiction, exploring various genres to keep my mind entertained. Any particular favorites? Authors? Genres? Mysteries have always captivated me. There is something about the suspense and the thrill of the reveal that I find absolutely thrilling. I love to get into mysteries, yeah. Do you have a recommendation for a newcomer? Oh, certainly. Let's start with a classic that's not too daunting. I'll find you something that will get you hooked. Her trust and affection up by half a point. Wow. Let's ask something more. Uh, your dreams? We all have dreams. What's yours, Ivy? Dreams? I suppose mine will be to own a bar someday. Not just any bar for... A place that's more than just a business. A sanctuary where people can leave their worries at the door and find a bit of happiness. I like that. It sounds like a dream might support. I'd be your first regular. Oh, that means a lot to me. You can count on having special place there. And your favorite drink waiting. Mm. Okay, affection went up. Fetishes? You know what, maybe that's too fast. We're going into that. I know this kind of game, so... kind of. Let's compliment her. You know, Ivy, I can't help but admire. Your bar skills are amazing. Your skills behind the bar. You're not just making drinks, you're crafting experiences. Oh, thank you. I believe that a good coca can turn any day around. It's about the care and thought to put into it. Seeing someone enjoy my creation is the best part of my job. It's more than just enjoyment. It's an experience, thanks to you. That's such a kind thing to say. I'm glad my passion is noticeable and appreciated. Yes. Her love up trust. All right, compliment her again. I'm gonna say her smile is beautiful, yes. Your smile. It's like it lights up the room, making the ambience even more inviting. <gasps> oh, you're making me blush. A smile is the simplest way to brighten someone's day, don't you think? Absolutely. And yours is especially effective. It's contagious in the best way. <laughs> Thank you. It's easy to smile when I have such a pleasant company. 
Yes. All right, let's flirt a little bit now. You know, it's not just the drinks that are intoxicating here. Your vibe captivates me, Ivy. Has anyone ever told you that you are the best thing in this bar? Oh, say, is that so? I was under the impression it was my cocktails that were captivating. Oh, it's everything about you. The way you move, your smile, there was warmth and an energy that's just irresistible. Well, I must admit, having someone as charming as you here does add a certain spice to my night. Yes. Well, I'm just being honest. Being here with you, it feels like we're the only two people in the world. <laughs> That's quite a statement. You have a way with words that could make a girl lose herself. Only if she wants to be found by someone who appreciates her for all she is. Then consider me intrigued. Your boldness has its charm. <laughs> nice. Um, can I ask for another drink? How about that drink? Sure, come with me to the bar and take a look at the menu. <sighs> we have a few options that might tickle you fancy. Something strong, whiskey knee, something sweet, fruit cocktail, something bubbly, champagne, the bartender's special mystery mix. Ooh. You know what? I feel like going sweet. <laughs> Why not? How about a sweet one? Maybe a fruit cocktail. Yeah. Oh, sweet and delightful, much like our encounter. It's easy on the palette, but don't underestimate it. The sweet cocktail goes down easily. Perhaps too easily, as you both start to giggle more freely. Oh, Commander, the stars aligning and they spell out desire. Can you read the night sky? Loud and clear, and you send me to navigate by your curves. Okay, let's go, go back there then. Go back where? <laughs> go back where? Um, just in case. Ask more about her again. Yeah. I think we can go with fetishes now. If you don't mind me asking, do you have any particular tastes, tastes or fantasies? <gasps> well, I suppose I we all have our little secrets, don't we? But I have an affinity for something with my cocktails. So when to extend that to the bedroom? <laughs> nice. That's fascinating. It sounds like you bring creativity and passion to all aspects of your life. Absolutely. Life's too short to bl for blunt experiences. Wouldn't you agree? Oh boy. All right, let's go. You are so hot and sexy. Let's go. How incredibly hot and sexy you are. It's hard to not to notice. Oh, I mean, that's quite forward uh, of you to say. Uh, but thank you. It's not often that I get such a direct compliment. I guess working behind the bar has its perks. Meeting someone who's not shy to express how they feel. Well, it's the... Well, it's the truth. You have an allure that's quite captivating. I'll take that as a compliment. It seems you're quite captivated indeed. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, we flirt again. We flirt again. Alright, I can't stop imagining you on the out on, on on the outside. I honestly don't understand what they're saying. I can't think of how nice you are outside this bar. Oh, that's what you... Okay. Oh, and what exactly does your imagination conjure up about me? I imagine you're even more stunning if that's possible. Free from the confines of the place, your spirit, your spirit unchained. Oh, my spirit unchained. That sounds exhilarating and perhaps a bit dangerous. Danger has its thrill, but I'm more interested in discovering the person behind the bartender, the real Ivy. Oh, you're quite forward, aren't you? It's a refreshing change. Most people don't look uh, beyond the surface. I've always believed it. It's the depths that holds the treasures. And you, Ivy, seem like a treasured trove of mysteries and delights. 
Well, if you're willing to dive deep, you might just find more than you bear kind for. Okay. Let's play Truth on Dare this time. Tom. Yeah, let's go. Truth or Dare? Oh, it's a classic one. Sure, let's make this interesting. You you start, Arthur. Um. Truth. Let's keep it light. What's your favorite color and why does it speak to you? Blue. Like the ocean at night. It's cold, mysterious, yet full of possibilities. Oh, that's beautiful. Colors can paint our feelings and desires. Blue is quite captivating. My turn, right? I'm ready, Arthur. I choose there. Oh, there you say. Get a cocktail and drink it all. Let's go. <laughs> Challenging, but it's okay. Check it. Here they are. Every flavor in this drink represents a layer of what I feel. Definitely. Thanks to let me mix some and drink it. Ivy took some ingredients and made a cocktail. Here is a mix of sweetness, spice and everything nice. I'll drink it, but let it... A bit for you, okay? Sure, sure, yeah. Here goes nothing. She drinks all her cocktail and give you another glass with some inside. There you go, Arthur. It was... It was so good. Thanks for asking it. I was needing that drink too. Uh, but I guess it's your turn again, Arthur. Yeah, you start. Come on. Um... I mean, let's do all the truths. Preparation is key in mixology. So tell me, are you prepared for anything? Do you have... Do you have a protection with you? I always believe in being ready for every opportunity, so yes, I have that covered. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. It's important to be safe, especially when diving deep into uh, desires. Literally. My turn, huh? Let's keep the child's play. I'm ready for something more intense. I choose there. Okay. Okay. All right, Ivy, give me that ASMR. Okay, I'll take you up on that there. Come closer. I'm very close right now. Ready when you are. Ivy leans in, her breath warm against your ear. In your ear then. Uh, um, in your ear then. Listen carefully. Every moment tonight has been leading us here. Don't you think? The three of what's next is what makes this so exciting. There, I've said something there, Ink. Your turn to keep the flame burning, Arthur. I guess it's your turn again. <clears throat> but I guess it's your turn again, huh? You start. Truth. Whatever. Now I'm curious. Have you ever... Kissed someone? Or are you still holding on to the final piece of innocence? I mean, it would be weird if I haven't. I've shared some moments, yes. But there's always something new to discover with the right person. Oh, that's very diplomatic answer. Maybe you would find this something new to discover with me. <laughs> My turn? My turn, huh? Let's keep the child's play ready for something more intense. I choose truth. Truth, you say? Honestly, I feel like we just need to go one after the other. That's usually how it is. So, what's your favorite color, girl? Color is such a powerful expression of mood, so I don't have a specific one. But tonight I'm feeling deep red. <laughs> Is it because of all the blushes I've managed to get out of you? It's a sheet of wine that promises warmth and intoxication of roses that hint a romance at danger. This red is my heart racing, a sign of my excitement and undeniable chemistry between us. It's passionate, intense and alive. You sound very romantic, Ivy. Thanks for sharing that. No problem, Harper. I guess it's your turn again. You start. Alright, you know what? <clears throat> Give me a dare, girl. Let's see if you're as strong as you're charming. Show me what you've got. You stand up, rolling up your sleeves. <laughs> Flex your arms. <laughs> the muscles rippling under your skin. <laughs> Impressive. Yes. It seems I'm the company of someone who takes care of himself. Yes. Or me. My turn, huh? Let's keep the child's play once again. I choose there. Oh. 
show me your tongue. I don't understand exactly why this is a, a, an option, <laughs> but whatever. Okay, I'll take that. Here I go. Eee. Ivy opens her mouth and shows her tongue. Eee. You look so sexy. <sighs> Time you to keep you the flame burning now, Arthur. I guess it's your turn. You start. Um, I went with two two roofs and one there, so let's go there again. Since we're being naughty, I change you show me just how excited you are right now. Mm. What? But don't be shy. Give me just a glance of this. You glance around the empty bar. You decide to indulge her request. Here you go. Ivy's gaze is fixated, her lips parting slightly in suspicion and delight as you reveal yourself. Oof, that's quite the display of trust and excitement. Now it's clear we're enjoying our game as much as I am. My turn, huh? Alright, I just truth. Alright, girl, tell me. Do you have a boyfriend? Uh, that's quite a direct question. For now, I prefer the thrill of the unknown. There is something incredibly sexy about the possibility that lies in a single encounter, don't you think? Just like tonight with you, I'm intrigued by how this might lead us. But I guess it's your turn again. You start. Let's go back to truth. Alright, let's get personal. Share with me. What's a secret fishy fetish you find irresistible? Hmm... Hmm... I think I've always had a thing for woman in control, someone who knows what she wants and takes it. Oh, power play, huh? It can be incredibly sexy to take charge, or to be taken charge of. Maybe we can explore the dynamic together. Alright, my turn, huh? Let's go. I choose there. Oh, you've chosen there. Then, give me a kiss. Oh, a kiss, hmm? What a bold move. But I guess this night is full of surprises. Ivy steps closer, closing the distance between you. Her eyes lock onto yours, a silent question lingering in the gaze. If you're to share a kiss, let it mean something. Let it be a promise of the night's untold stories. As your lips meet, the world fades. The kisses spark, igniting a deeper connection and an unspoken understanding. Ah, a kiss like that. It's a beginning, isn't it? Let's see where this night takes us, Arthur. But I guess it's your turn again. Alright, a dare then, please. I dare you to come closer and kiss me. Let's go, kiss for a kiss. Equivalent exchange. Not just a peck, but a kiss that says you mean it. You lean in, hands finding her waist, and your lips meet in a kiss that's a slow burn, deep and meaningful. Wow, oh, that was quite the statement. It's clear we're not just playing games here. My turn, huh? Alright, I choose truth. Mm, tell me a secret you've never shared. Let's go. Sharing a secret? Uh, let me think for a second. Uh, well, here is one. I've always been drawn to the idea of a date where everything aligns perfectly. Oh. A night where I can be complete myself and have fun with one another. And later... Well, you already know, right? Well, it's a desire I've kept hidden. Until now. Hmm... I'm pretty sure these desire desires are not far from happening. <laughs> this feels like the first step making it into reality. Well, I have no idea what to ask you, so it's my turn again. I chose there. Oh... Can you change into another outfit? <laughs> an outfit change? You're curious about my style, huh? Or just an excuse to see me in less? A bit of both. Okay, I'm going to get my other clothes. I le left... Uh, I left here. I left here? I left here. Whatever. She disappears mentally, leaving a trail of anticipation. The sound of fabric whispers through the air. Is is my college uniform okay? Sure, sure. They are nice, but to be fair, her uh, like bar uniform was nicer. I know what. 
Why? But now I feel incredibly sexy. Does it meet your expectations? Wow! Think your reaction say this was a worthwhile dare. It's your move hard for what's next. Should I stay like this or go back to my work uniform? Feel free to ask me later, okay? I have no idea what to ask, so it's my turn. I choose truth. Alright. What's your wildest experience? Oh, delving into the depths of desire, are we? Well, my wildest encounter. Let's just say it was at night on the beach with the imminent danger of being discovered. Okay, that's nice. The sun, the moon, and we surrendered our desires. It was real and it was hot. Okay, that's nice. I feel like only the sun might be like kind of getting in the way. <laughs> Obviously in this kind of situation, but nice. I hope I can try something similar soon. Wink, wink. I have no idea what to ask, so... I chose there. Alright. Do something for lynxes, so mine eyes only. Oh, that's quite the request. But you know, there's a freedom in bearing it all, a truth. In only what you can see. With a playfully appropriate grace, Ivy begins to switch into a mode only visible for me. Links. Each movement a tease and art form. She stands before you, the embodiment of desire and vulnerability. Nice. Here I am, Arthur. In all my truth, your dare has brought us here to this moment of pure honesty. Let's cherish this vulnerability, shall we? Now dare you match my boldness? I have no idea, it's my turn again. I just truth. When was the last time you were seen the way I see now by someone? Oh, for someone else, huh? Last time. I think that was on the last summer. In a friend's garden at night, he left to buy some beers and in a moment of impulse I decided to feel the cool night air against my skin. And so I got bathed in moonlight completely bare. But then my friend came back and saw me. And so... Nothing really happened after this, he just said sorry and we kept talking normally after this. Ha! Huh. Well, that's a, that's a bit anti-climax. What was you expecting? What was that you were expecting, huh? Yeah, you know, you know what, you know. I mean, it could be the next one if you keep like this. Well, I have no idea what to ask. So, it's my turn again, truth. I don't know, what, I have nothing. Do something else. Maybe we should do something else now. Sure thing, Arthur. I'm enjoying our time together, whatever we are doing. Can I get her back into clothing? I can't. Alright, I mean, that's a little problematic, but whatever. And... Can I have another drink? We have a few options that might tickle your fancy. Mm. Let's go with, you know what, a fruity cocktail again. Yeah, let's go with this again, and that's good. I'm fine for now. Alright. <clears throat> Suggest moving to another place. <laughs> this place is great, but I was wondering, how about a change of scenery? Uh, a change of scenery could be nice. Any ideas in mind? How about the beach? Maybe the park? Maybe the park? Oh, sounds magical. I can't remember the last time I just laid back and looked at the stars. Two. This place, it's so peaceful at night, don't you think? Just us, the stars and the quiet of the night. It's perfect for some alone time. Abs absolutely, it's like a little escape from the rest of the world. How about we find a spot to sit and watch the stars? I love the idea, let's find the perfect spot. Talk about the stars. Look at the constellation, do you know which one it is? That's Orion, I think. Each star tells a part of this of his mythic sto his story. And what about you? Do you have a favorite constellation? I've always liked Cassiopeia. It's easy to spot and the mythology behind it is fascinating. Oh, I like the, you, the way you see things. There's a story in the stars for those who want to find it. Lay back and watch. Let's just lay back and watch the sky for a while. 
too. This is nice, isn't it? Being here with you, it feels right. Just laying here watching the stars with someone special, it's more than enough for me. For sure, this is a perfect night for stargazing. You know, they say if you make a wish while seeing a shooting star, it's supposed to come true. What would you wish for? Money, I think. More moments with you, yeah. More moments like this, just you and me. Oh, that's sweet. You're making this, this night special. Hey, hey, look, a shooting star. Quick, make a wish. Oh, mm, done. Oof, what wish did you make? Well, we are both here alone, so I wish for us to make love right here, right now. What do you say? Your wish is my command. A few moments later. Ah, that was incredible. Thank you for sharing the night with me. I mean, thank you for making it unforgettable. Ah, that was something else, Arthur. I didn't expect tonight to go this way. Me neither, but how do you feel about heading back? Maybe we can relax and win down after all of this. I'd love that. Let's get back to bar then. Sounds perfect. Let's go. Here we are again. I know I already shared a lot tonight, but I'd like to make you feel good one more time before we go. Huh? What is on your mind? You know, I always had this fantasy. I think tonight is a perfect night to fulfill it. Oh, and what's that? Kissing you right here inside this bar. What do you say? I like that very much. A few minutes later. Ah, that was so hot. You're amazing, Ivy. That kiss was incredible. Wow, Arthur, that was really incredible. Yeah, we just said that. I've had an amazing time tonight. It's not just fun, I felt something special with you. I felt it too, Evie. I felt it too. It was more than just pleasure. There is something between us. I'm glad you feel that way. I wasn't sure if it was just me. I know we both have our lives, but I don't want this to just be a one-time thing. Neither do I. Let's see where this goes. Here, let me give you my number. Maybe we can catch up sometime soon. Not just for fun, but maybe a coffee or something. I like that. Maybe another night like this, if you're up for it. Oh, definitely. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for a wonderful night, Arthur. Thank you, Ivy. Until next time. See you soon. A night with bartender. There might be achievements, but... Uh, they are not on Steam for... Why are they not implemented on Steam? What's that supposed to mean, Dev? Huh? <laughs> um, alright. So there are more achievements, which basically unlock more scenes and so on. Uh, if you want to dive into that, I mean, do it yourself. The game is on Steam! And it's free! So yeah, feel free to do that, exactly. <sighs> feel free to do that. I I imagine eventually they will be like, here is all the achievements that were in the game, we've added them. I mean, maybe it will be like that, maybe not. I cannot predict that. What I do know, we finished it on a good note. I have her number. I guess we'll be... Dating from time to time. And so on. Which obviously is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Ivy was great. The general idea for the game decent. Uh, as I mentioned, there are multiple games out there in the internet of that kind where you basically leveled up a few stats with talk. With showing tongue, kissing and so on. Mm. And it, I knew how it works basically. What bothers me is... Okay. Here I will go into what bothered me. Uh, the dev actually uses AI generated stuff. And I don't know how much truth is behind the words they are saying. Like, supposedly it's just to 
enhance the visual quality, but I wonder if that's true. Like supposedly it's sketches are hand drawn and so on, but then it's enhanced. How much there is truth to that? You, you, I don't know. I literally don't know. I can't tell with this one. It looks okay. Is it actually sketched by someone or is it AI generated out of the bat? No clue. But whatever. The game is alright. The game is alright in general. And well, she was a cutie pie. What can I say? She was a cutie pie. I got a number from a bartender. That's cool. That's absolutely fantastic to be quite fair. As I said, the game is free on Steam. If you want, you can go play it yourself as well. And like get the other endings. Unfortunately, no achievements, but they, maybe they will add them. Who knows? Uh, actually, it was released not so long ago, on August 1st. Mm, tomorrow, tomorrow, probably tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then soon after we'll move to the second game from from this dev. Uh, that was released literally yesterday, when I'm recording at least, so September fifth. Mm. And we'll play this one as well, a night with spirit. That's right. That is right, we'll be dealing with the supernatural in the next one. So yeah, let's end it. Expect another video tomorrow or very very soon from this uh, series. Yeah. Uh, if you are having a fr Friday night as well. Actually, if you have a night, basically, whatever day it is. And you are able to go to a bar. Go to a bar. Have a drink. Responsible, of course. Be responsible. And who knows? Maybe you two can find yourself a bartender girlfriend. <laughs> Have a wonderful day and night. Bye bye.